The following segment is sponsored by Northern Nevada Health System. We are back here at Northern Nevada Sierra Medical Center with Travis Anderson, an ER physician, talking about what to expect when you go to the ER. Thank you so much for taking time. I'm sure it's really busy down there today. Uh, it's my pleasure. Yeah, it is busy, but uh, we're coping very well. So how long should you expect to wait on maybe your standard run-of-the-mill ER visit? And I know that's hard to say. I know that there's not really a standard ER visit, but you know people tend to talk about how long wait times can be there. Right, so it's very difficult to predict how many people are in the department, how busy it's gonna be from day to day. We try to staff to that volume the best we can. However, when you come into the emergency department, within a few minutes you'll be seen by an experienced ER triage nurse who will assess the severity of condition and determine how fast we need to treat or uh, assess you again. And in general, uh, the median time to see an ER provider within our group is less than 20 minutes. What about when you go to the ER and you sit down and then somebody who may have gotten there after you gets called back before you? Why does that happen? And I can understand why that's frustrating for patients where you've been waiting and someone comes in. Uh, however, we assess very quickly how severe your condition might be with that triage nurse and sometimes a physician or provider up front uh, seeing that patient. And if your condition could be very severe, we need to treat those patients first. So for example, if you came in with signs of a heart attack or a stroke, I'm sure you'd wanna be seen before someone that might have a sore throat or a hurt ankle. We do a very good job and really push to see patients as fast as possible and assess them through many different system level uh, changes and improvements that we have. Uh, however, if someone is very ill and they come in an ambulance and need immediate resuscitation and care, that's what we're here for, as well as caring for all the other patients that come in. So there is a priority to the severe sick patients. So how would you decide if you should go to the ER or instead go to someplace like urgent care? So that's a hard decision for people because we don't expect people to know, is this a very dangerous pain or is this a minor pain? So if your pain is very severe or persistent, if your symptoms are rapidly progressing or you feel unsafe traveling, uh, that's a time to come to the emergency department. Urgent cares are very good at assessing what they can handle and will refer you to the emergency department if you need a higher level of care. And if you're unsure, you can call. We always have a nurse or a physician right there at the desk. They'll be able to answer your call uh, and answer any questions you may have and try to determine what level of care you need. Okay, Dr. Anderson, thank you so much for your time today. We will let you get back to the ER. If you wanna watch this interview in its entirety or you missed anything, you can always find it on our website, foxreno.com. Just type in family411. Back to you.